Good evening everybody. Let's uh, have another go with the Asan GA250 MEMS gyro. My uh, $10 heli of course. Right. Yeah. The wind's a lot less in the uh, shelter of the backyard. The difference from last night is that I've uh, Hi guys. <laughs> um, right, I've moved the ball link on the servo horn to five millimeters. Um, in that's the closest hole to the uh, securing screw. Uh, it seems a lot better, a lot smoother. I get a feel for it. Oops. Okay, it still bounces a lot, which uh, the good old uh, Hobby King 401B. No. That's interesting. So, on going right, it's not too bad. I'm going yawning left. Hmm. That's the weakness of it. It's not very smooth. But my goodness, does it head held well? Ah, I got a bit of the uh, descending vortex ring then, Rob. I think <laughs> on the nose in. Yeah, it's it's hmm, it's not it's not quite as smooth as the old Syro. I'm sure in aggressive flying you wouldn't necessarily notice these deficiencies. I'm a little bit apprehensive up here today because last time I was doing this I caught the top of one of the trees I was very lucky that I didn't get the helicopter stuck out of reach Right, well I'd like to say hello to uh, all my uh, internet friends, Brian, Rob, Peter, uh, George, Kevin, Andrew, ooh, Sean, Tinkerman, I'm sorry I forgot your real name, um, Barbecue Man. A little bit of fish tank in here, dedicated to Brian. Right, honestly, I've uh, fiddled about with this quite a bit, this gyro. And it's got to be said, I think I prefer the uh, 401B. I know I'm probably being a little unfair saying that, in that I'm used to the 401B heart response. Uh, I've only given this, what, a few lot I post packs to prove itself, but it's a shame, I really wanted this to work actually, it's 
lightweight, looks good on the heli being so small. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, as I said, the uh, pillow weight's brilliant. Look at that. <laughs> uh, which way did I go there? I can't remember. Right, so that was left. That's right, look at that. Chuff me now. <laughs> ah, we have a pheasant. Say hello to pheasant. Yeah, so I'm going away for the weekend, a trip to the coast, a place called Robin Hood's Bay, uh, which is where the North Yorkshire Moors meet the sea. It's a very scenic sort of place. Beautiful. So there'll be no uh, heli flying from me. I don't think there'll be space to take a heli in the car. Going with the two nephews. So it'll be a, a bucket and spade type break, a bit of rock pooling, that sort of thing. Weather forecast is good. <laughs> Paul starts to concentrate. Yeah, I'm loving the night. I'd love to build a night fire, Rob. Uh, there's only one problem really with the project as I see it uh, oh, and that's uh, in the summer over here we're that far north that uh, let me figure it out the battery's low we're that far north that uh, come June it won't be dark while I've got 10 o'clock in the evening and uh, come the middle of summer, it's, it's not properly dark at 11. So, uh, I can't really fly in sociable hours. <laughs> right, now the thumbs are getting used to it. It's growing on me, this uh, gyro, I've got to say. The head hold is superb. And if that's uh, what you want for the gyro, buy one of these. But me, um, let's go down and have a look. I'm kind of at the stage where a gyro is a pilot aid rather than anything else. And uh, a little bit of drift here and there doesn't bother me so long as it's smooth and uh, predictable and this thing it just uh, it just bounces a little that's for sure um, and soon as I spend quite a lot of time trying to fly smooth and scale like it's probably not for me um, I'm gonna leave it on for a bit though and uh, I'll uh, make a decision or so in a week or two's time okay then bye for now